Welcome back to Nabirim Show, Raw and Smackdown review for your pleasure amusement. And all started with Roman Reigns flying into the ambulance with the help from Braun Strowman. So they're gonna have a match at Great Balls of Fire. Roman Reigns wants to compete with Brock Lesnar or Samoa Joe, whoever's gonna win, but he got Braun Strowman on his way. So we're gonna have a match. And I hope Braun Strowman's gonna ambulance match. And I hope Braun Strowman's gonna destroy Roman Reigns. I'm not sure WWE is gonna go for it, but I hope it's gonna happen. Then we got a weird segment where Elias Samson was joined by Sheamus and Cesaro, the champions, tag team champions. And I'm not sure, I mean, they're trying to elevate Elias Samson, give him some attention because he doesn't really have anything. And again, he doesn't finish his song. So. What's going now with that one? I mean, at least finish one song at some point. No? Okay, because they're boring, all of them. So they had a match against Finn Balor and Hardy Boys. And Hardy Boys and Finn Balor won. I'm not sure why Finn Balor is feuding with Elias Sampson or he is even in this at all. I mean, he deserves much more, but since we have all the feuds connected to each other, Finn Balor just doesn't have anything. Which is weird, he's uh, one of the best wrestlers in the company, and he should have something, but he doesn't, so he's weirdly just placed in there. The match was cool, but why Finn Balor is in there? And I hope they have something to go after with Hardy Boys, because this is getting old, sorry. Um, then Goldust and R-Truth were supposed to have a match, but it didn't happen because Goldust attacked R-Truth before the referee had the chance to ring the bell. So this is going, I don't, I, I, I mean, it's better than nothing, better than before, but these promos are getting old, so I hope, I, 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 at least they're getting some in-ring stuff done, because otherwise it's just not really entertaining. I hope Goldas has something in him left, and he will maybe even get title shot at some point, and then retire. But we'll see, Artrus not really a face I'm gonna support, so I'm gonna support Goldust in this one. And we'll see where this will go. And then we had a little, like one of the worst Miss TV or probably segments again on Raw of for a long time. Yeah, new LA Lakers players got involved and it's their father or I, I what? Like it's uh, who cares? And Miss and Marie's were like separated a week before, now they're not, and they were not really like mad at the chair. Marie's was kind of mad, but not really. Dean Ambrose came out and Lamar, that's the, the, the bold, the, the old guy name, I think. He just got too fucking excited about everything and got crushed and got just off the line and he was smiling while delivering huge lines i mean why i mean if you're trying to promote players or you got promotion money or whatever just 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 do it differently don't show in miss tv and this t-shirts and dean ambrose was wearing t-shirts so again promotion i mean dean ambrose now look like i said not really a sellout but he's like oh these guys are against me so i'm gonna wear their t-shirt yeah, cool. Then we had a match where Miss Entourage or Entourage, Mrs. Entourage, yeah. Against Ryan Slater and Dean Ambrose. Why is this going on just to fill the car? I mean, it's three hours. Do you really need this to use? Yeah, this was this was really bad. I don't, I don't, I mean, Miss won, but who cares? And the match was itself okay at most. But Dallas and... Just, just, just move on. I mean, this is getting so stagnant, and Miz and Dean Ambrose are not really moving anywhere. So I would just rather see something else than this one. And then we move on to the good one. Big Cass actually apologized to Enzo, and then he turned again. For a moment or so, I thought, wow, they're really backing up from the decision of splitting them. Maybe they were like, shit. The backlash is huge, we're gonna get them together, and so on, and like, new merchandise, like, oh, we're back together, OG or something. But Big Cass did turn, like, completely, that's it, that's it, and I hope they're gonna have a match, I'm not sure, like, Enzo can even keep up with Big Cass, maybe it's gonna be tag team, 
Nice. But I really, really like this one. I think Big Cass really was convincing and he was delivering. Enzo was likable, actually. For the first time in a few years, centuries. Um, but again, I'm not sure like he can com compete even against Big Cass, but we'll see. But I like this promo. I like that he, that he turned again and he did not join him in the team again. So yeah. I hope they have a good resolution for this one. And then Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt happened again. Not really moving anywhere, not really any reason to actually fuse with each other. Just so because we have these guys and they're gonna have with each other because they worst each other and they're good enough just, 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 just to fill the card. Bad writing, not really moving anywhere, just same stuff all over again. I guess Bray Wyatt is gonna lose. I mean, I'm, they're not gonna let uh, the new cover boy of WWE 2K18, right? 18? Whatever. To lose right after the announcement that he's the cover boy. I mean, okay. Bray Wyatt is gonna lose again, okay. And then Samoa Joe actually hurt Brock Lesnar, even though I thought it's not possible. Like, he, I mean, he's not Goldberg, but. I like that Samoa Joe actually looks strong in this one, even though just a few months ago he lost to Seth Rollins and he uh, like something like, well, he's done. Well, he's just making Brock Lesnar afraid of him, kinda. And I like this, I like this, I think this is gonna be a great, ma it's, it's a main event, right? It should be a main event. I think if they book it right, Samoa Joe can even lose and still look strong in this one. And I hope he will, because... I enjoy him. I enjoy him on the mic. I enjoy him how, how strong he looks and how he delivers in the ring. Yeah, cool stuff. Cruiserweight happened as usual. Titus O'Neil, Kirizawa, Neville. And then we had a tournament for the first contender for women's division title. And Nia Jax did crushed Bailey in like two minutes. Then she basically crushed everyone but Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks actually made Nia Jax tap out, which never happened ever, ever again. And probably will never have happen. Never happened. Never happened before. And probably will never happen again. Um, yeah, Sasha Banks is gonna win the title, I think. And I think the Sasha Banks versus uh, Alexa Bliss is the golden ticket you should have on the raw because they're gonna just i mean sasha banks was just competing against alicia fox and boom she's the first contender and she's probably gonna win the title uh i hope they have a good stuff for them coming up because i think they deserve it uh, i think nia Jax can be somewhere there betraying just attacking anyone and just hoping to get a title shot maybe title reign at some point but I like that they're doing this and not that they're doing stuff on SmackDown when everyone just for, for everyone against everyone. I think Sasha Banks versus um, Alexa Bliss. Why are you forgetting her name for a second? Uh, is one of the best women's match you can come up with so far in WWE. Yeah, let's move on to the SmackDown. Yeah, SmackDown started with Carmella and James Ellsworth came out. And just doing the same stuff they did last week stuff. Oh, there are no rules, no disqualification match. I got the briefcase. I hold the briefcase first. Then Brian's like, I don't give a shit. I have I have the beard. I'm the main guy. Everyone's gonna listen to me. Everyone likes me. So I'm gonna just proceed with the new match, with the rematch again. So deal with it. And also it was banned from the arena. Was he though? And then the newly formed Hype Boys, Zack Ryder and Mojo Rowley lost to Usos. Usos? Usos to in like a few minutes. <laughs> so I, I guess there is not much hype behind those guys. Is though? I mean, are they gonna split them instantly? Like, you suck! And just gonna, someone's gonna turn heel. But I mean, if you, uh, if you would like to elevate them, you would give them some easy match at first, so... They would actually like show their skills, build some momentum, but if you just give them champion, champions destroy them again. But I guess this, I guess, I guess there's no way around that one. And then Fashion Vice happened again, which was enjoyable. Ascension proved that they are not 
the ones that destroyed the office of fashion police guys so i guess fashion police not gonna get any matches soon but they're gonna be searching for the clues and the, the ones that destroyed their office and attacked Tyler Breeze last week or the week before I don't know what the week before I think and then Naomi crushed Ravishing Russian yeah in like few minutes so I guess Lana's not gonna really be in the scene of her title anytime soon I mean she's not really competing and not really good enough to be honest I mean, they can give her like easier matches, not against champion, and maybe against Natalia, Tamina, or whatever. Not against Carmella, obviously, because Carmella's gonna be in the title scene for a while. <gasps> Wait, I spoiled it! Holy shit! And then English guy was there. But who cares? Uh, Randy Orton actually took the stage, and he was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another title shot because because I'm Randy Orton and I'm important." Then the Punjabi guy. Ginger Mahal came out and said, okay, we're gonna compete in the Punjabi, 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 Punjabi Sel, Punjabi Sel, we're gonna compete in Maharaja. And he, he, he did this one a lot. Yeah, I'm not good at this one, but. Yeah, so Randy Orton is gonna have a match. And I think, I mean, how many you have this? Who's gonna compete after Randy Orton? Or is it gonna be forever and ever and ever? Will actually Baron Corbin cash in at some point in the future? Or he will just be there. Yeah, the Punjabi prison match is gonna be next time. What? Battle it's gonna be in Battleground, right? Battleground, I think. So Sami Zayn then lost against Baron Corbin because Sami Zayn is there. Also, yeah. The weird promo of the new couple was there, but they did not really introduce themselves or said why they're there. What's gonna, what are they gonna, are they after the titles or after Miz and Maryz that they're on the Raw, but they're on SmackDown? Like, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna be like have their own show or whatever? So Baron Corbin won, and who cares? Won cleanly because Sami Zayn is there just to give someone a win. Even though, again, Miz lost to Sami Zayn the first week, he got transferred to SmackDown. So I don't know how Miz is still Intercontinental Championship, even though it was in Raw. Oh no, yeah, he lost on Raw first time she transferred. I, I'm confused. I don't remember anything, honestly. I'm bad at this. Now let's actually discuss the finale of the yeah, Money in the Bank rematch. This was should have happened the first time. And I think they, I mean, this is my guess and my room. This is just for me. I think they had a different rematch in their mind. But because everyone was actually, okay, we like this one. If you booked it properly, we would actually be behind Carmella and James Ellsworth. But you did shit job, so we don't know what to do now. So they were like, shit, we're gonna do rematch and Carmella will want cleanly. So I think they were not sure about um, how people are gonna take Carmella as a Money in the Bank holder. So they were like, okay, let's do this first time. Let's do the weird win. And if people will like it, we're gonna do a rematch and she's gonna win it cleanly so she will have it behind her and if people will not like it someone else is gonna win and they can have a backup plan that's my guess so they thought that I mean they, they saw the react I mean I don't know if, if it's the case because I, I only see this as a possible solution to rematch because otherwise why wouldn't they book this just this exact ending as the first time just why not unless they were scared that people not gonna like Carmella and they're gonna like stop watching Smackdown um, but she won't clean it now so there's not really denying that one even though Becky Lynch and Natalia had a clear chance to win in the middle of the match but okay I mean I was okay with her winning the first time not the way she won but she got it now, so let's see what's gonna happen next. Probably she's gonna be cashing in anytime soon. I think she's not gonna hold on to this one for long, because I don't think she can hold the spotlight for a long time. So I hope she will cash in and win the title, and maybe James Elfo is gonna be like her title holder, and she, he's gonna turn on her at some point. He's gonna be like, 
oh, you're not giving me much attention, you're just a champion and you start forgetting about me, he's gonna blah blah blah. I think that you can have a great angle on this one, but we'll see, thank you for watching, see you next time, at some point, somewhere, in the future, I'm... <laughs> who do I to know? Who, who am I to do? Who am I to know? Who do I am to know? Do you?